Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and welcome back to another Inform Silver player review. Today's player review is going to be of Inform Quintero and a big thanks to JCCFC27 for lending Quintero to me. There's a link to his channel in the description so go and check him out. Anyway though, onto the review and Inform Quintero is a Colombian attacking midfielder that plays in the Mexican League. A lot of you guys probably would have used him. This year only has 4 star skills compared to the 5 star skills last year. When he actually got his inform, he was actually probably meant to be a right winger as he played right wing in the game that he scored a hat trick. But they did actually, EA did make him a centre attacking mid. And I tried him quite a lot in quite a lot of different positions and different formations. I first tried him as a centre attacking mid in a 4 2 3 1. Then tried him as a centre forward in the false nine and then ended up using him as a striker to try and score some more goals with him in a 4 1 2 1 2. So this is the team I ended up using him in. As usual we can take a look at the in-game stats now and I'll talk about a few of the notable stats and his card stats as well. So on the card he is 74 rated with 88 pace, 81 dribbling and 79 shooting so an absolutely ridiculous card. In game he's 5 foot 5 right footed, high low work rates, so really good work rates there uh, with 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. In terms of notable in-game stats, there are quite a few, but his in-game stats aren't as good as I was expecting them to be. He does have 88 sprint speed, 90 acceleration, other really good physical stats along with them. Also has 70 vision, 75 attacking positioning, that's not too bad either. And then the skill attributes, he also has some really nice stats there. 89 curve, 84 dribbling, 82 finishing. 86 long shots, 84 shot power, and lastly the 86 volleys. So we can move on to the gameplay now, and this will give me a chance to talk about how he performed in game, and also mention his price as well. He's actually was 500k when I used him, and is now dropped down to about 300k, and you'll be you'll be able to tell why he's dropped after the after watching this review. So usually in these reviews, I talk say 30 seconds at the start about all the negatives, and then talk in a lot more detail about the positives. But with Quintero, there are not many positives at all. There's so many more negatives. If I'm honest he was absolutely awful so I'll talk about the few positives first and he does a fairly good dribbling he does have the 84 dribbling in game which isn't too bad he also has fairly good finesse shots I mean okay finesse shots no better than the non in form he that's kind of expected though with 89 curve also has fairly good physical stats as well he does have really high acceleration and sprint speed so he's incredibly fast but again not much different to the non-inform and also does have four star skills, suppose that was also positive. On to negatives though and as I mentioned there's absolutely loads of negatives, if I'm honest he's well worse than the non-inform. So the first negative is his shooting and although we have mentioned he does have fairly good finesse shots, other than that though is power shots, his long shots, anything like that, they are absolutely horrible. It was really really bad, I mean compared to the non-inform who can pretty much, probably can score from anywhere, it's got really good finesse shots, really good all round shooting. The inform card had absolutely horrible shooting. It's another one of those inform cards where the inform is actually worse than non-inform in game. I've got no idea why, but it did not seem like he had anywhere near the sort of stats that he does in game, like 84 shot power, 86 long shots, not noticeable in any way at all. He's also incredibly weak, incredibly small. He's five foot five with absolutely no strength. The strength felt like absolutely nothing. But getting pushed off the ball by every single player. And the weird thing is, I never noticed this with the non-inform. I've used non-inform loads, and I've never noticed this. But I did notice it with the inform. Also, I could not find a good position for him. He didn't play well as striker, centre forward, or centre attacking mid. So I've got no idea where I play him. In a way, I did wish they did actually make him a right wing, as I think he actually would be better there. So I mentioned the poor shooting. I've mentioned he's weak. He and I've also mentioned he often felt worse than the non-inform. Being completely honest here, do not try him out. Do not waste your money, as the non-inform is pretty much as good as it's going to get. This inform card is ridiculously bad. Honestly, it's probably the the most awful time I've had playing FIFA in in absolutely ages using the Inform Quintero. And considering how good his stats are, I've got absolutely no idea why he's this bad. But most of the reviews you will see will be fairly negative reviews of him. So on to my overall thoughts, and he really wasn't that great in my opinion. He does have a couple of positives, and those are that he did have fairly good dribbling, also had good finesse shots, excellent physical stats, and also did have four-star skills. But there's plenty, plenty of negatives you'll see here. He's too small, he's incredibly weak. He didn't work as a striker or centre attacking mid. I couldn't really find the right position for him. He had poor shooting, other than his finesse shots, the shooting was poor. He often felt worse than the non-inform, and that I noticed a lot. I did never never noticed any of these problems really on the non-inform he is incredibly expensive he's not as expensive now when I got this gameplay he was about 500k he's gone down now to about 250k which isn't as bad and I would probably actually would prefer him as a winger I think he would work better as a right winger like he should have been and as well a final rating which I usually give a player final rating I'm going to give him is probably a 5 out of 10 and something else I forgot is forgot to mention on my previous review of Inform Ari, is he worth it? Would I say he's worth it? In my opinion, no he isn't. Save your coins, 
buy the normal version, save your coins for the team this season. So thanks for watching guys, that is it for my Inform Quintero player review. I know it's out a bit later than I was planning, but better late than never I suppose. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like, and thanks for watching guys, cheers.